No. <laughs> Does it look like we're having fun? Did you see so any fun. dark matter like, cosplay? I haven't been out in the streets yet, really. Have I you? I haven't seen anything. I've no. like, The only time I've seen dark matter cosplay has been on the internet. Oh, and a lady dressed up as two in London. She just wore like I didn't know she was being what, two. <laughs> what is the yeah? What is the thing that people wear when she, they want to dress well, up? Well, she two? wore she wore black skinny jeans and those thigh high boots, like the knee high boots, black tank top, black leather jacket, and she made holsters for her guns and everything. Yeah, and she was a brunette, and she like did her eyes. But I saw a mom daughter two five cosplay on the internet once. Oh, that was wow. really good. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I feel like yeah. in terms of cosplay, uh, we don't have. We don't have really cosplayable five, other than five. Android? We don't have yeah, your and, signature vests. I don't know. I don't Alex? know. Alex. Yeah, but let's be serious. Compared to some of the cosplay that you see, that is so easily identifiable as it, like basically you could buy most of our clothes True. at like you know a store. But if you bring it all together, then, then you go. Oh, group cosplay. F- five is five is very cosplay. Five is very Android good because cosplay. of the uniform. For yeah, sure. yeah. 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 Yep. We're having fun at the con. <laughs> you guys, are you planning on cosplaying? Not this time. No. Uh, this is cosplay for me. I, I'm planning on cosplaying, yes, as a, as a lady who's well put together. That's I'm playing I'm that cosplaying. accounting from... Um, <laughs> Stop! Stop! What? No. That was a good one. That one made me laugh. <laughs> okay. So what can we look forward to for season two? Uh, wow, what can you look forward to? Uh, I'll tell you what I look forward to in season two for my character. And, um, well, there's a wonderful relationship that develops with five in, um, in season two, between five and three. And I, and I just, I think it's just a, so much fun to explore that given who my character is and the, where he's come from. Uh, it ends up being a really... I don't know. I, there's sort of there's, there's touching and soft kind of moments that are that I think that are fun for me as a person to play and to connect with someone as a human being because I'm always always sort of you know rolling off as a, as a character as a, and yeah. getting to like really connect with someone and look you know look someone in the eyes and have that emotion of really caring about them. It I mean it's fun to feel that and uh, and three doesn't get a chance to feel that very often and so with five he does. Fun. Yeah. yeah, I think I think that's well. The theme in that comment I think is true for a lot of the characters in our show. I think in season two we get to see everybody kind of round out their personalities a bit. Mm-hmm. So everyone was really set up. Uh, they were we were setting up those characters in the first season, setting up those archetypes, who these people are, and who they're meant to represent. And in the second season, I think we start to expand on those ideas, and and they become a little bit more human you know that we get to see more sides of them because all of us embody all of those different elements and I think it's great that uh, Joe and Paul have allowed us all to explore that a little bit more it gives an element of uh, realism to the show that I think makes all of the characters highly relatable um, because they're not just one dimensional um, which can happen I think after a while because something works and they're like let's just run with that forever yeah Mm-hmm. Now, um, two and three have sort of a romance ish going on in season one. Yeah. Romance with her? I mean, it's just a little bit of fun for one night. I yeah, mean, seriously. Yeah, pretty much. It was. I, I seem to think I just, seem to think you wanted a little bit more, though. I did. And you shut me out like a really cold hearted person because you thought I had rabies. It's valid. I mean, like, more than that, like, like zombie making rabies. Can you imagine the sound of, like, babies? Because you thought I had babies. <laughs> um, can you? Do you think your character can make babies? I've been told that I have all the mechanisms. Okay. <laughs> That'd be weird. I don't, want, I don't want to to have a baby. No, I, I, I like the idea of her dealing with fertility, though. Yeah, I think I think that would be really interesting for her to like, want that. Like going I don't know to the she... drug mart and buying pills. Like, no. what do you mean dealing with fertility? What does that mean? Like, dealing with that question of can I have a baby? Ah, I eat. Yeah, 
mm, fertility. You don't, you don't, <laughs> no, but you were saying you don't want it, her to have a kid. No, I pregnant. don't want her to have a kid, but I think yeah. it'd be interesting to see her deal with those concepts because I don't, yeah. that, that's not something that we see, I don't think, very often on television. We see it very We're interviewing each other. We see it very <laughs> No, but I think, I think it's actually one of the most, because we do talk about this frequently, this notion yeah, of what it, what it takes to, to make a strong female character and... Uh, it's undeniable that there's that element of fertility that plays into women's lives. And, Always. Uh, and a, especially if it's a five season run where you have a strong female character and you never even deal with that question of fertility in, in any kind of way. Yeah. yeah, I can see how you, you'd think that would be fun to play, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And an important story to tell because I think for a lot of women, oh my God, this will go down the wrong rabbit hole, but um, for a lot of women, they deal with that question, but it's in the Western world and maybe everywhere else, I'm not sure. Uh, we don't talk about that kind of stuff. We sweep it under the rug. There's like a weird shame and embarrassment about talking about uh, those things, and there shouldn't be because it's universal. Everyone deals with it, and we're getting younger the more we're dealing with it. Anyways, so that's dark matter. <laughs> We can keep going on that because I find we, that yeah, fascinating. We could, actually, we could, we could actually. keep going on that. Unless you guys want to redirect. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think uh, the death of one, we haven't really seen that impact yet, at least not from what we've aired so far. I think in the last episode they just kind of said, oh, we found out maybe that he passed away. Is that, how is that going to impact them? I think um, exactly how the crew deals with it is, you know, that will reveal itself. But I think that the ripples of that loss course through everybody and everyone kind of deals with it differently from two's perspective we've already seen a little bit of that she's she's gutted by it um, but I don't think she's the type of person that particularly feels inclined to share those emotions because that's a weakness that's a sore spot and not only do I not care to share that with anyone because I don't like feeling weak I don't like feeling uh, uh, less than um, Oh no! Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't think that that's something she. Yeah, would will want to share with anyone. But I think that the losses will be seen. I hope so. I didn't. I didn't get to see everything. I feel like we do a lot of splitting off this season. Yeah, we do. We less. Uh, less group scenes. But my character absolutely that ripples forward. Not in the. You know, we don't have scenes where you know. Three sits around gnashing his teeth about how much he misses one. It's not three's. It's not the way three is. But you see it in the difficulty he has accepting the new people in the crew. You see it in the difficulty he has forgiving, uh, forgiving six and accepting six. Um, you know, he's not a guy who accepts change easily, and uh, and that's you know it's a big loss for for three, and uh, it's something that I felt actually playing. Playing those first few episodes, really, yeah, these new people on the ship, and you're doing scenes like nothing happened, and you're in the scene. No, this is this is the mess where we used to sit. I mean, honestly, these are like real emotions. I remember emotions. that. Yeah. Where there, where there was a scene where we were supposed to be sitting in certain chairs, and you yeah. were like, "No, that's my chair," and no, yeah. we're gonna. We're gonna. All okay, right, we're, gonna, we're gonna, doing something gonna different now. All right. cool you know, like. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. That kind of stuff was real. Yeah, it was real. Yeah. Yeah. We also saw. Sort of their real personality that came out in the last episode, like who they really were before coming into the Raza, or before we met them. And uh, it seemed like three really wanted to be like, hey, well, we got our memory back, let's, 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 you know, let's take them back. Um, is that something that they've decided really not to? Um, It'll rip it forward. That's still there. I mean, that yeah. that capacity to, to get the memories back is still there. Yeah. And it will play forward. Yeah. For somebody. Mm, Indeed. Teaser. Yeah. In a big way. Like in a, a big, huge way. Right. Yeah. It's a big big thread for season two. Yeah. Yeah. That idea of if you could, you know, if you could get your memories back, would you? Or the other way around, you know, is it better to just not know some things about yourself? Yeah. 